into us, into us, burning at both ends. For your love, for your love, let me fall again into love. Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It is your celestial baddie, Karen, and she is back with another one. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate the love and support, my Libras. You already know what to do. Like, comment, share, comment down below. Don't forget to smash the notification bell and select the option all so you know when your girl is going to be uploading another reading or when she is going to go live okay how are you doing my libras i hope you guys are doing amazing but we're going to dive into the energy on what message you need to know at this time so this is going to be a spiritually guided message for you my libras so if you are listening to this reading this is something you are meant to hear at this time this reading is going to be a timeless reading for you my libras okay and my libras thank you so much for being patient with me i am going to say this in a couple of videos until we get the channel where we need it to be i know you probably noticed that there's more aquarius readings and there are libra readings but just be patient with me this is a transition so I am going to at least have three to four readings a month. I'm hoping by the ending of August, we have the channel more acclimated with Geminis and Libras. So that way we can have um, a more smooth transition into it being an air sign channel. This was originally an Aquarius channel and I'm trying to make it an all air sign channel, okay? So just bear with me, please, 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 while we go through this transition. So I am going to be uploading more frequently for you guys. You will see about three to four uh, readings to get us started a month. And then we will gradually increase that as we get more views for my Libras, okay? And if you don't know, I do do private readings. If you would like a private reading, you can check out my website goddessofwhispers.com or you can check out the description box below and keep in mind this is not going to resonate with each and every one of you so take what does and leave the rest let's get it pulling on my ancestors and spirit guides and sun moon rising and venus what is the message that my libra the person watching this video at this time needs to know to help them on their spiritual path and spiritual journey protect us as we go into the divination of Zara. What is the message here for my Libra? What is it that my Libra needs to know? Thank you. Ooh, man holding a coin, honey. Okay. Man holding a coin. I likes to see that to get us started. But my Libras, so your reading is about a man, okay? This is somebody who has money or who's coming into money is what this energy is reading, or you could be the man with money, okay? But something along the lines of someone here coming into money is about to get money, get paid, honey, or you have money, or you're about to come into some form of money. Man can be, right, woman or man itself, okay? So my ladies, this could be even you coming into some form of money, getting your bag up in some way, shape, or form. But it's about a man with some money, honey. Or about to get some. It could even be meeting somebody, right? Who has money. But we're going to dive into the message and see why this is here. Okay? Why this is here. What is the message here for my Libra? What is the message here for my Libra? So cut the deck. We have balance. Ooh, and I'm seeing the tree. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see the tree and it's bearing fruit. So something along the lines, my, my Libra, of... Fruit bearing or fruit starting to bear. This energy is representing something starting to be balanced out here, either for you or someone that is around you, my Libras, right? It could even mean here, my Libra, that someone is coming into money. Or this could be you. If things were not bearing fruit before for you, things are starting to bear fruit. I need more. Give me more. But things are starting to balance out surrounding money. Ooh. We have power. The witch hat. Ooh, my Libras. 
So this message is about claiming your power. It's about claiming what's rightfully yours. For some of you here, you may have put some type of spell in place, you know, practices some type of witchcraft, spell, whatever the case may be, to acquire some money. And it's saying that you will acquire some money. For some of you, it's about wanting to receive someone with money, like wanting someone to come into your life that has money. But I'm getting more so of a vibe of like, Coming into your power or using your power to acquire the things that you want in your life. Using your power to bear fruit. Hmm. Let's dive a little bit deeper. You know how we're going to do. You know how we're going to do. Someone's using their power to bear fruit. Let's see what's going on. What's the message here? Okay, that flew out. Let's see what that is. We have clean up. Yeah, this is about freeing yourself from burdens. Something that's holding you back in life. These two came out together. Okay, so my Libras, I feel like for someone here, you may be feeling like life is just lifing, right? This could be a never ending cycle that you may find hard to break, that you may feel like no matter what you do, it just keeps repeating itself. Like you feel like you're on a hamster wheel, like nothing is changing, nothing is happening here for, me, for you. But what I'm seeing here is like either you or someone around you is freeing themselves from this cycle, right? So if you feel like you're revisiting a pattern Maybe you're starting to look at things from a different perspective and this is causing you to get your money up, your bag up, or someone around you is getting their money up or their bag up, or maybe you're meeting someone who has their money up, but someone's cleaning up their actions or someone's starting to clean up and get their shit together is what I'm, what I'm sensing. This could be your spirit angels telling you now's the time for you to get your shit together, my Libras. Right. But it's about getting to the core of a situation that's causing you to continuously keep repeating some type of cycle or some type of pattern, especially if you're feeling like, you know, this is a never ending story for you or you just feel like you're on some type of ha hamster wheel. This is not a time to play victim. Right. Because this never ending story can represent even playing victim here. This is a time for you to focus and figure out what it is that's keeping you from achieving the things that you need to achieve in order to get to the point. Okay. So let's see what else, you, what messages else you have to hear here. What's the message here for my Libras? What is it that my Libras need to know? Why is this here? Now's the time to break the cycle. Yeah. So now's the time my Libras to think clear. My Gemini has also got this in reverse to at that. So this is about thinking more clear, especially in situations that's mentally holding you back or maybe even feeling, making you feel like you are being defeated in some way mentally, right? Or it could be someone around you that's planting seeds that's maybe making you feel like you can't. But what this is saying is that someone's changing that. Someone's changing the way that they're thinking. This is what this energy represents. Someone's changing the way that they're thinking. This is about having some type of resolve to conflicts that could be going on with you mentally or someone that is in your life that could be trying to manipulate you in some way, shape, or form or you trying to manipulate them. Let's see what this is. We got a lot. We got disconnect and boredom. We have spiritual strength. We have disruption. And we're going to end with the bottom of the deck. Hope. Let's get into it, my Libras. Okay, so the message here is about not feeling fulfilled, not feeling happy, right? With what maybe life is having to offer or the situation that you are in. It's like you're not happy with this situation or the way that this is going. 
It could be about your bag or about your money and needing to balance that out. But you are having to step into your power and get out of this endless cycle that you find yourself in, right? And free yourself from that burden. But you have to get to the core of the situation first. Release that energy that is keeping you mentally down or keeping you mentally feeling defeated. It's time for you to shake something up here, right? And you see how this person is being shooken up? This is you shaking up whatever it is at the core. You need to be shook, honey. But it's telling you, my Libra, you need to shake shit up. Change some shit up. Look at things from a different perspective. Revisiting the patterns is keeping you from the quint. Right? For some of you here, you may be feeling like it's all been on you, like everything's been on your shoulders. You're having to do it all. And it's about finding your power and your strength in that. And release what is disrupting your energy. I'm hearing like, I can't do this anymore. That's what I'm hearing. I can't do this anymore. But my Libra, it's about finding balance. Finding the power in you. Maybe needing to find in the inner witch in you, right? Maybe you need to find that inner power and manifest the hell out of it, right? To get to the point. One thing I like about this spiritual uh, strength energy, though, that's the nine of wands. It's telling you, hey, maybe you need to take a pause, self-reflect, and try again. But never give up. Never give up. Let's talk about this star, right? Look at the next card. Trapped in fear. I'm telling you, the message here is about somebody, right? Keep in mind, it's not everybody's story, but somebody here is feeling stuck. Feeling trapped. And for some of you, it could be mentally. But you feel like you're in some type of endless cycle here. We have hope. This is the star. This is about feeling inspired again, bringing healing to your life. It starts with you and recharging your energy to get out of it. You need to clean up what is holding you back. This coin is yours. It always have been. It always have been. You are more powerful than you think. This is why the witch's hat showed up. You are more powerful than you think. This life is not for you. Tap into your spiritual strength. You need to be shook. And if this message ain't shaking you, I don't know what to tell you, my Libras. But one thing I am going to tell you, there's hope in you. Let's close out with your advice. Let's see what your advice is. What is the advice here for my Libras? What is the advice here for my Libras? Let's see. We have full moon in Pisces. Forgive. Now may be a time, my Libras. Keep in mind, right, the, the, the Pisces energy are fish, and all they do is go round and round and round and round. You see these fish? That's all they do is swim round and round in a circle. So it's about forgiving and letting go of what's holding you back. I feel like now's the time to break free, my Libras. Now's the time to get to the point. Step into your power. I forgot what zodiac sign I did. It could have been Gemini's so who got that one as well. Now is the time to step into your power. Step into your power, my Libras. That's what your advice is. Claim what is rightfully yours and get to the point. I love you, my stars. Till next time. Bye.